Greetings. My name is Shannon Connor, and I am the proud principal of McClure Middle School. I first want to acknowledge how challenging this time has been and continues to be for our students, our families, our staff, and our entire community. My ongoing interactions with both district and school staff show that without a shadow of a doubt, we miss our students, and we are doing everything humanly possible in a short amount of time to help young people feel connected and supported by their schools. On March 23rd, OSPI, the State Education Agency, provided revised guidance to all districts. They asked districts, school leaders, educators, and support staff to ensure continuous learning occurs throughout the school closures. In response, last Friday, March 27th, the district provided teachers with guidance on minimum expectations. I'm going to walk you through the guidance document and share what students and families should now expect from each school. I'm also going to share what this looks like in my school, school community. Please remember, each school community is unique, so approaches may vary slightly. The first document is the Continuity of Learning document. You can find the elementary, middle, and high school guidance documents on the District COVID-19 webpage, which can also be accessed from your child's school website. This document outlines expectations for the number of lessons or activities provided each week, communication expectations, and expectations for coordinated support across multiple educators, including those providing specialized services for students on IEPs or with a 504 plan. You should expect to hear from your students' teachers twice a week. The types of assignments will vary across grade levels and subject matters. Teachers are here to assist with your students while keeping them engaged with a variety of lessons through different mediums. These lessons or activities may be provided online or emailed. For example, teachers and teams at my school have developed a plan that includes a recommended type of bell schedule for kids so families can know when to expect uploaded lessons and activities via the Schoology page. We also have a weekly targeted outreach plan for our advisory students, and we've carved out and advertised teachers' office hours and set aside time so staff are available for IEP meetings. Communication is really critical at this time and family engagement has never been more important. Educators have been asked to coordinate communication so you aren't overwhelmed. You should expect your child's teacher or teachers to contact you and your students at least two times a week. At my school, the academic communication will come via the Schoology page, and the social-emotional check-ins will come via email from each McClure student's advisory teacher. In addition, I send out a family newsletter once a week. We have support staff reaching out to families who have expressed they are in need of some extra supports, and we send out short messages via our own McClure Middle School information app at least once a week. Finally, we are all very aware of how these school closures are affecting all of our students, but particularly our students receiving specialized services. For students receiving ELO services or have an IEP or a 504 plan, educators are thinking about your students' individual learning needs and working collaboratively to make appropriate adjustments to assignments. Right now, as I speak, McClure staff and staff across the district are working hard to make students' distance learning as streamlined, comprehensible, and inviting as humanly possible. It is also good to remember that like you, Seattle Public Schools staff are also socially distancing at home while working and may have, many have children to care for and even family members who need extra support. We are all in this together and doing our very best. I have been an educator and a school leader in Seattle Public Schools for 27 years. Nothing fully prepares anyone to manage a global health crisis. Please know that the entire SPS family is here to support you. We will get through this together because that's what we do as educators. We figure things out and serve our kids. In the meantime, please take care of yourself and your family. For more information, please visit the district's COVID-19 website 
It includes the continuity of learning documents provided to educators, as well as a robust FAQ. Take care, everybody.